Hello, I'm Dennis Mastromonaco, the music director of the Mississauga Symphony Orchestra. Here at the MSO, Masterworks series are devised to bring the core repertoire of the symphonic orchestra to our audiences. I try to create programs that give you and offer you masterworks from the master composers over the last few hundred years. So what inspired me to create the program for the music of Easter? Um, I should say there was no initial inspiration. Uh, sometimes things develop over time. I know that our concert would be one week before Easter. And at that time, perhaps, I came across some music that I thought would fit the theme. For example, I heard Russian Easter Overture and Having done it in the past, I thought it would be a wonderful piece to play. And then Shrove Tide Fair by Stravinsky. And the setting of Cavalleria Rusticana by Mascagni, which takes place on Easter Sunday. Sacred music versus music inspired by sacred events or themes. This is perhaps on the surface quite easy, that there's sacred music, music written directly for sacred events, and then music inspired by sacred holidays. There's also a third section to that, and that is composers that write this music that are neither religious, uh, but that just feel that the theme is popular. For example, uh, sacred music, Bach wrote for the church. Uh, then we have composers that uh, are very religious, such as Haydn and Bruckner, but their music is not sacred. And then we have composers such as Mascagni, who wrote on a great theme. He wrote a whole opera that takes place on Easter Sunday, but he himself, of course, had nothing to do with Easter or Easter Sunday, just thought it was a great theme. On Saturday, April 1st, we premiere a piece by Romulo Delgado. Our audiences may be familiar with this wonderful tenor. He has sung operas for us. And here he is in the role of a composer. Not too long ago, a year, year and a bit, uh, Romulo called me and said one day uh, when he retires, he wanted to compose an oratorio. And well, that time, not that he retired, the time came quicker and he began to compose this work. It is called The Cross of Christ, and it's based loosely on the last seven words of Christ. The work itself is quite interesting. It's written for full orchestra and voices. Uh, he will be singing along with a cast of eight wonderful opera singers. The work has these interesting elements of uh, Hebrew, sounds, Arabic uh, drumming, and for me, I hear Latin rhythms and Latin harmonies in there as well. And that diversity in this work makes it just a really special moment. Join us on Saturday, April 1st at 8 p.m. here at the Living Arts Center for the music of Easter. For more information and tickets, visit us at mississaugasymphony.ca.